are all canceled today hello guys so today we're gonna do a quick video on some ear training I'm a little bit tired today it's a snow day and all of our lessons got canceled today so I'm home and I thought that I would just sit down and, and give you a lesson if you would like <laughs> so we're gonna do some ear training so um, we're going to do all of the intervals up to a perfect fourth. So that would be major and minor seconds, major and minor thirds, and a perfect fourth. And we're not going to do the tritone, which is between a perfect fourth and perfect fifth. So just everything up to a perfect fourth. Okay? So just as a little review, a major second sounds like do, re, mi. They're consecutive fingers, but they're separated by a whole step. Always sounds like do re mi. So if I was to play, you can tell that's not quite right, right? It doesn't quite sound like do re mi. So then we have half steps. That's a minor second. A minor second is consecutive fingers, but they're squished together. They always, always, always sound like jaws. So if I play, that kind of sounds bad, doesn't it? That's better. So just watch your half steps. Their fingers squished together. Now uh, the next thing up from a whole step is a minor third. So a minor third is a whole step, like open one, but plus a half step. So if we go from open to two in this position, or from one, here's the whole step, to three in the basic hand pattern, or from two, here's the half step, to four, that's a minor third, and it always sounds like Iron Man. Or here's one, two, three. It'd be nice if I could play in two. Here's the other one, two to four. And there's other ones, other, other hand patterns for that, but I'm just kind of sticking with our basic hand pattern at the moment, apart from this open low two one. Just wanted to show you that one. Okay, the next thing we have is a major third, which is made out of two whole steps. So if we go from open to two in the basic hand pattern, you're gonna always have a major third. It sounds like um, Vivaldi. I'm sorry, The Four Seasons, which is written by Vivaldi. Um, there's another one across third finger to first finger. If you're going um, up, I mean, it's still a major third if you're going down, but it's not going to sound like Vivaldi. So this is going up. So anytime you have open two or three over to one, it has to sound like Vivaldi. Because if you have... Then you know something's wrong. But you wouldn't necessarily know that unless you had worked on really feeling the pattern out and knowing what it should sound like. So that's one of the reasons why intervals are so helpful. Okay, and lastly we have a perfect fourth. A perfect fourth is two whole steps plus a half step. Open three, or we could do one to four. You can see the whole step here and here, and then the half step, two and a half steps. So a perfect fourth is Here Comes the Bride. And then, right? Okay, so just FYI, those are the patterns in the basic hand pattern. Um, those are the intervals, intervallic patterns, I guess. Ooh, that's a big word. So here comes the ear training portion of this. So just sit back and relax and try to um, hear what intervals we have, okay? So I'll try to play it for you a few times and then throw in the song just so you remember. And you can look at my left hand, but that will kind of give it away, I think. Try 
Spotify to listen for. Is it Jaws? Da -dum, da -dum. Da -dum. Close, but not quite. Let's see. Is it a minor third? Da -da 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 -da. Does it sound like Iron Man? Da -da. Nope. What about a major third? That's Vivaldi. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Nope. So we missed one. We missed that major second, right? Do re mi. So this is just a whole step. Weirdly, sometimes whole steps can be hard to hear. Here's another one. that starting pitch. It really helps if you can hum it. So does this sound like a half step? No. Nope. What about a minor third? I've got an itch on my chin. <laughs> Nope, so it's somewhere in between there. Let's check Do, Re. And that's it. This is another major second or another whole step. Okay, next one. Mm, that one. Is it Do? Let's see. That one sound like Jaws? It's kind of an easy one to hear. Especially when I play it like this. But maybe not so much if I play it slowly. I don't know. But that is our half step. Okay, what about this one? Try to always hear that starting pitch. in order and check um, whether it's a half step. Let's see. Doesn't sound like Jaws. What about a whole step? Do, re, mi. Nope. What about Iron Man? What about this one? There's our starting note. So there's our Vivaldi. I don't know what that was. <laughs> so um, that one would be a major third. And if you're watching my left hand, you see how I'm building them on each other. So I'm not doing this. This is in the middle of nowhere. Try to set them down in a pattern. Um, if you're, you know, if you, it's just good practice. You don't always need to play like that, but it's just so that your fingers can know how they relate to each other. And I think it'll be a little bit more secure if you're struggling with intonation. And that's another video in itself. Okay, let's keep on going. So I'm not gonna really spend too much time walking the, you through them. I'm gonna just play them for you and tell you what it is at the end. That one is a major second, that's a whole step. first note. Mm -hmm. Check it with the smallest ones first. So go through your half steps, whole steps, minor third, major third. Mm -hmm. 
if you have it to yourself. This one's a major second. Okay, what about this one? That's our half step, minor second. My viola sounds so weird today. You see? <laughs> Are you have a cold or something? My viola and I have been kind of fighting recently. Having a, we're going through something at the moment together. So that's a half step. What about this one? Get your first note. That's our minor third. It's really helpful if you can hum along, so it'll just help so much. So make sure you're humming along. That's our minor third. What about this one? That's a minor third. myself. I'm sitting on the floor, which is nice, but getting a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, last night I went to um, the holiday concert at Temple University and made a little vlog of that. It was really fun. I liked going with you guys. So we'll see. I'll see if I can find some other things to take you to. Maybe I'll take you to Curtis. Go to a concert at Curtis. Okay, let's that's a major third, right? Sounds like the fall of these four seasons. What about this one? Extra brownie point if you can tell me how many whole steps and half steps are in there. Perfect fourth is a half step higher than a major third. A major third has two whole steps, so a perfect fourth has two and a half. Two and a half steps. Okay. Our perfect fourth. Okay, so that's all for today. Those are the intervals from a second to a perfect fourth. And I'm showing you, I was showing them if you're watching my left hand, too, in the basic hand pattern. Those are the intervals that you can do with the perf uh, basic hand pattern words. And um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just do another video of the intervals from a a tritone up to an octave or I might kind of some of those are hard to hear so I might kind of just do a small portion of those and then we'll just make a few videos out of this so I hope you're all doing well this is so fun for me to finally be able to record again it was so awful not having a computer <laughs> so um, thank you for sticking around